Welcome. In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at this BOC EUC multimeter test lead kit. So this was provided to me by the distributor, but they're not compensating me for this video and they're not reviewing it before I post it. If you find this video helpful and you want to purchase one of these, I'll put a link to it in the description on Amazon. And if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. Let's get this open. Okay, so here we have the different accessories it comes with. So here I have everything laid out, and this is a kit to extend the functionality of your multimeter. So here I have a multimeter, it's kind of a standard multimeter, and we have some leads that come off of them, and the ends look like this. And you can do a lot with these standard probes, but they may not be optimum for every situation. So I'll unplug these, and these have the four millimeter banana plugs. So these have cables here. So these are silicone cables and they look very similar to the cables you would be used to on a multimeter. So we have the black and the red. The length on these is about 52 millimeters. These are silicone cables, which makes them very durable and very heat resistant. And these cables plug into the other accessories. So let's go over those. First, we have clamps here. So these have some pretty aggressive teeth in them. So this is good for clamping onto something like a battery post. Now previously, I had a alligator clip I would clamp onto this end, and then I would clamp onto the battery post. And my alligator clip is really small. It didn't work very well, but it was the best I had. One thing I didn't like about it is I had this here flapping in the breeze with the alligator clip, and it could come loose or touch something. This is a much better option. So we have two of those. Here we have these needle probes, and they have some rubber on the end, and I do not want to stab myself with that. See if I can get that in focus. So that is very sharp right there. So I'll put the little cap back on. I want to make Make sure I don't stab through the end. Then we have the standard style probes. So if you have a multimeter that is missing the probes, this will cover you with everything and this will come off. I'll just pull that off and extend that. So if you're working on high voltage, you can leave this on, but there may be applications where you want to take that off. And then we have these little grabber probes. So you press in the end here, that goes up so you can hook that onto something. So let's test some of these out. So I'll plug this into my meter. I'll start off with the standard probes. I'll just test this outlet here. So I'll go to AC, I'll pull these off. So this can be dangerous just like any multimeter. So know what you're doing before you stick probes into outlets and such. So I'll stick this in here. And there we got 125 volts. Okay, so that worked well. Let's try a different one now. So I'll unplug these. Let's try these grabber ones. And of course you don't have to use the same ones on both sides. You could use a regular one on one side and a grabber on the other. Here I have a little circuit board. So if I wanted to trace where a component goes, I could take this and hook it onto something. Like here's a little resistor. Let me find a different component we can see better. Okay, so here we're hooked onto a diode. So say I was using a standard probe to search around to see where this goes to. I can connect this up to this diode and it's not going to fall off. We'll get a standard probe hooked up here. And so I have that continuity set up here. I can test this on the back. That works. And we can see where that trace is going. It looks like maybe here. So that's a really handy probe. Without this, I'd probably try and put some tiny alligator clip on here and it would be just a hassle. Next, let's try one of these needle probes here. So we want to put the standard probes on and these will slip over the top like so. There we go. If I touch the ends together, we should hear a tone. Okay, so here I have this wiring connector for a radio on a car, and I probably want to get rid of one of these, and I'll stick this inside of one of these connectors here. I'll just pick one. Now, hopefully that'll make good contact in there. I think it will. So now I can go through the connector and find out what this is connecting to. Okay, I found it on the bottom here. So I'll pull this up and show it a little closer. Actually, I'll just take the probe off. Let's see if I can get this focused in. So you can see, I can see a little bit of the conductor in here. So I was able to stick the probe in there and get a tone off of it. So I did that on all of these and all of these. So I could analyze this a little bit and narrow it down and think it's oh probably one of these two. But I'm just using this as an example. So on some automotive connectors, you could even go in from behind here and tap into the conductor. With this, you can also go in on a circuit board where you may not have a lot of room and you can get in to tight spots with this. 
So since this is insulated, this is going to be a safer way to do it than to use a standard probe. If I'm going in here with this, I may be touching surfaces and such. So that's very nice. So now we'll head out to my car and we'll demonstrate using these clamps. So I'll put those on real quick. I'll pull the main probes off. So I'll connect those up. And now they're ready to go. Okay, so now I'm out of my car and I have the battery clamps on the battery. So this one I have kind of on the outer part of the post. This one I have on the bolt and I have it hooked up to my meter. We can see I'm at 12.26 volts. So I don't drive this car very often. So the battery's probably a little low, but previously I actually had to hold the probes onto the terminals. Now I can clamp them on there. So if I want to go start this up, I can go start it up. I'll just leave this attached. And here I can see the charging voltage. So I hit the hold on here so it'd stay. So that's much more convenient than using a traditional probe. Another thing I can do is hook up a standard probe to say the one terminal so I could have one on my ground and then I could go around and check for differential voltages I could check for grounding issues things like that and previously I would have to hold one on the ground while taking the other probe around this way I clamp it on there and I'm only focused on the one probe touching it to different things so that's very convenient so that's the BOC EUC multimeter test lead kit I think this kit's really going to help me optimize the use of my multimeters I already know that these clamps are going to come in handy when I would do automotive work I've struggled with that in the past these are going to be a much better option I think these needle probes are also going to come in handy for automotive work for testing leads and connectors. I was recently doing some trailer wiring and these would have definitely come in handy. I also like these smaller little grabber probes. Oftentimes I find that I could use a third hand to hold two probes on while I'm doing something else. So I think these will come in handy in that respect. So that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.